Tim Heidecker, check one, two. We are live! Welcome to Office Hours Live. That's right, folks. Uh, we are back after a little break, after the switcheroo. I am in my rightful place where I belong, standing strong and ready to broadcast a sensational show on this Wednesday morning. It's sort of like, what? Hump Day show. We're gonna get into where. We're gonna get into why. Why are we on Wednesday? Gonna get into all that, and we're gonna have a great experience. I know you are along for the ride, and I know you couldn't be happier to be here if you're watching us live, and if you're watching us on the rebroadcast. God bless you. Thank you for supporting this show, and thank you for supporting everything we do. I am. I've been gifted this morning. A tremendous. A uh, pair of sunglasses that I'm proud to be wearing, uh, gifted by the one and only DJ Duck Pond. Good morning. Doug, tell us a little bit about the sunglasses I'm wearing, real quick. This is not a paid endorsement. It is not a paid endorsement. Those are the Pit Vipers. Pit Vipers, baby. And watch this shit. Are you on me? Good day, Ooh. sunshine. That's a good look. Thank you. And Victor Berger's got his flip-ups. Oh, I got my flip-ups. What's up, everybody? <laughs> What's up? I'll do that. I'll join you on that. Almost Captain Carlin in the house. What's it? Keeping things on, keeping the trains on time, and he's got some pit vipers too. In studio. You know, just we have very very <laughs> Biden. Biden. Who was that? What was that? No, that was, sorry. You know, just seeing Matt's little body walk out oh on the stage God. and play the video, and he's just like looking out. It was just made me giggle. I was giggling a lot. Matt loves that drop. Oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> all timer. Look at that face. Oh my God. We have in studio with us a very special guest. We have Lyle the Therapy Gecko. Hello, how's it going, guys? Great to have you. You are a podcaster. A Twitch streamer. Mm -hmm. We're on Twitch, by the way, if you want to join us there, wherever you're watching right now, it doesn't matter. Uh, and you basically, it's a, similar in a way to our show. I'm mm -hmm. not su suggesting that you've ripped us off in any way. Oh no, no. This format has existed <laughs> since since Marconi exactly. himself. Who? Is it Marconi? He's the first. Who invented the radio, Matt? Edison. Marconi. Sure. Mr. Edison. Wasn't Marconi. 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 I don't know who that is. And I Alex thought Sam. I thought Sam Sung did. And Alexander Graham Bell, when Marconi and Bell created the telephone, the radio, the call-in show was mm -hmm. born. We're all copying off of Alexander Graham Bell. That's at the end right. Of the day. Guglielmo, Guglielmo, Marconi. Guglielmo. 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 Uh, <laughs> very successful enterprise. Uh, sort of. You know, we, we get calls, we talk to people on the phone. It's funny you asked about like ripping, because I'll get people who will DM me and be like, hey, I kind of want to start a call-in show, but like, is it cool if I use your idea? I'm like, we, people people have been doing this yeah. for, since as before. As long as you don't literally put yourself in a gecko costume and if they want to, If they want to put themselves in a gecko, go ahead. No, if I'm they can do it better than me, I want. I just want the best version of the thing to exist. If they can do it better than me, please. Well, I, Can I ask a question? Yeah. No, At do, this point, yeah, uh, no, yes. Do you, do you you're a therapy it's, gecko, but yes. you're not a licensed therapist. No, I don't have a license to do anything. So okay. what gives you the right? And I want to put, no, I don't want to phrase you that right. way. Please, please. Uh, why do you feel qualified? Because what you do on the show is you give advice. Kind of. Or I you just, you just, you're there to hear people. Yeah, I, th I uh, lately I've been thinking of more of like, it's like almost journalistic. Like I'm trying to get people's story more than I am trying to like get in there and tell them what to do. Mm -hmm. I'm like, even in my mind lately more being like, don't tell people what to do, but like, ask questions, get the stories out. It's almost even kind of like more confessional yes. than therapeutic. And people love it because they have a, they have an opportunity to be seen, or I should say heard, but yeah, yeah. In the can, can I ask, do you go to therapy? 
Uh, I actually went to therapy for the first time recently um, uh, a week ago, and the, he the guy was not like me at all. No, he was dressed no. differently. Yeah. Did, you wear the, did you wear the outfit? Did I wear the outfit? Did he wear the outfit? Did you wear the gecko costume? No, that would have been a different kind of <laughs> session. I felt me and therapy gecko have much different problems. I would go to therapy, but my schedule doesn't allow it. Really? No. It's what would you talk about if you went into therapy? What's going on? Um, I have several frustrations in my life. Okay, do you want to tell me about them? Uh, well, two of them are in the room. <laughs> really? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, thanks. It's quick. Thanks. No. Uh, well, maybe later in the show. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, I do have this thing that I've been noticing as I kind of watch this. I, all I, people ask, what do you want? What are you watching these days? Well, I watch this show. <laughs> <laughs> I watch on cinema, uh, which new episode just launched today. And I think it might be the best of the season. People, well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know where to watch it. What? You don't know how to use the internet. I like, people. you don't know how there's other websites than this stupid YouTube, right? Do you, uh, do you watch your own stuff a lot? Oh, yeah. Yes. No, 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 I don't. <laughs> I do have to watch, like, when on cinema, a right. cut comes in, you have to watch it, and then you have to watch it again. You have right. to give notes, say, what are you doing? This doesn't make any sense, Chris. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Chris <laughs> Robinson, who does our, a lot of our edits for, on, for uh, Office Hours, Best. Uh, is also the editor of On Cinema, and he has been doing a phenomenal job. Anyway, um, no, I was going to say, I do this, I notice I do this thing. Have you, No one said this to me. But I do a lot of like mouth stuff, like mm. a little. <laughs> you notice that? Like not not audibly, but I'm doing a lot of. Well, we all have our little faces we make. <laughs> Are you trying to change like, that? Like, like well, just being aware. I feel of it. like it might be, and like it might be, not a great thing for people to see on camera. Interesting. You know? But can you? I missed it. Can you show me what do you do? I'm just. I like. I do a lot. That's of, fine. All right. right. Sometimes you have a perception of a thing as bad, but then other yeah. people are like, no, no I one actually like notices that. that. Go. Nobody cares. Experience. Someone make a super cut to make me feel bad of all the times I'm doing. <laughs> Wait, Tim, do it. Do it. Do the face. I can't. Well, it's hard. Like, just do it real quick. Uh -huh, thank you. I'll do the sound subtle. effect every time. It's more subtle. <laughs> it's, what? Time you you know, I've noticed. noticed. Yes, he's noticed. It's a recent development, I think. Uh oh. It's kind of more. I have ticks. I have. You're going to be a weird old guy if you keep doing that. I'm going to be a weird old guy no matter what. <laughs> That's true. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> if you're lucky, uh, so if, you're lucky. if you want to call in, uh, we have the Zoom open and we have uh, the hot, Hothead Hotline, which frankly is not a Hothead Hotline. It's it's just a fun, uh, what's that called? Automatopoeia? Yeah. yeah. It's just a hotline. It's just a hotline. It's if, if you don't want to be on camera. Could I ask the therapy gecko? Do you take yes. Zoom calls too, or is it only phone calls? No, I'm, well, there's a couple of things. First, I'm afraid of what might happen if I let random people uh -huh. come on with video, mm -hmm. and then two, I like the anonymous nature of the phone yeah. calls. I feel like I think that people feel a little people safer yeah, on definitely. the phone. Definitely. And Vic's a big Vic yeah. wants to kill. I'll I want to kill it all. Vic off. wants to kill Zoom mm -hmm. really? as a component of the show. And it reminds me of the pandemic. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh. I get that. But what would be the better alternative it. to Zoom? Uh, just just phone, call. phone calls. Phone call. But listen, we're gonna. I'm. I'm gonna veto that. I have that power. I have that authorization. <laughs> In the terms of our uh, corporate structure, I have the power to veto everything and fire whoever I want. Let's take a Zoom now. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Doug? You're right. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's fucking sure. shove it down Vic's throat. <laughs> Wait, right. if the Zoom sucks, though, Vic was. Vic is right. Yes. Oh, Very, Matt's gonna pick a. This is like one, one of He's Elon like Musk's doctor. Twitter polls. Totally irrelevant. <laughs> well, you also get to like an, imagine what the person is like more so than if they just give you yes. the whole face. Mm -hmm. Let's do a back to back. Thing. Let's yeah. do a Zoom then a hotline. Okay. Let's compare. And I, we have so much to get to. By the way, we I should also say we have. Uh, this has to become a longer show. Yeah. I hate to say it. That's yeah. one of the great things about doing Tom's show last or two weeks ago now. I felt relaxed and I felt that there was no urgency or rush and I could kind of settle into concepts, settle into ideas, settle into conversations. And I'm going to take these off because it's enough. Um, but, uh, well, I want to tell you this. We have Jordan Hoffman, one of my, I think really one of the few film critics I enjoy hearing from. There certainly aren't a lot of them. And um, we have a musical act today. We love exposing people to new music, some bands that might be under your radar. And this band, Dear Nora, is going to be performing today. Katie and Zach, 
A little bit of nepotism going on, but we'll get to that later. They were the requested by uh, by the Office Hours community. That so is right. And we listen. If you want to join the Office Hours community, go to patreon.com slash office hours live. And a lot of stuff going on up there. Oh, you enjoy. So um, that is the, per- the plan. We're going to talk to Jordan because... Uh, a few weeks, uh, a few months ago, we spotted this insane show that was going to be coming to New York, I assume, uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Now, if, you, if, if you've watched the show, you know, and if, if you just pay attention to world news, you know that many of the people, uh, two out of the three guys in that group are dead. You know, I don't know if you saw, if you know that. Who, who what is a- Emerson, this? Lake, and Palmer. Is that a oh, movie? <laughs> ELP. It's a band from the 70s. Oh, oh what dead. a lucky man he was. We've got the... <laughs> Come on. This was the, uh, the news item. <laughs> or the yeah, 60s yeah. and 70s. I don't know. Oh. Anyways, Alaska, we'll get into right. it with Jordan, but he went to the show. He's going to give us a report. I want to talk about movies with him and other stuff, too. So, um, Do you ever watch a movie? Have you ever seen I've seen a few <laughs> movies, but I don't watch a lot of movies. Okay. I'm getting tired of these movies. Yeah? What do you, what do you <laughs> think is wrong in Hollywood today? I... I got a lot of thoughts on that. I'm going to save it for Jordan. Okay, please. We'll get Jordan Peel on here. I'll tell him what I think. Speak. (laughs) (laughs) What? What the hell are we going to do without men? (laughs) (laughs) What are we going to do without movies? Uh, Let's do do that, Matt. Let's take a Zoom. Yes. Quickly. Real quick before that. I also want to talk about Tim Pool and Nick (laughs) Fuentes and fucking Kanye and Milo, these rats. The rat's nest that occurred the other night that I was so fortunate to get to watch. I'm addicted to it. <laughs> I would like to real quick acknowledge someone gave us a hundred bucks on the YouTube chat. Wow. Trout. Thanks, Trout. He oh, that's very nice. And I encourage nice. everybody to give us a hundred dollars. He wants to know when Joe Estevez will come on off the service. Oh, I'd love to have Joe on. I can make that happen. Maybe after the season's aired so we don't get confusing. But he's a delightful person, and we, as I said earlier, glad he's on the mend from his uh, recent battle with cancer, and And, uh, we love Joe. And one more real quick plug, Mm -hmm. we got new shirts from Skinner. Yes. Mm. Wes, can you pull that up real quick? We'll drop the link. Mm. Mm. Don't drop the link. Keep it, Mm. keep it active. Hold it up. Okay. Lefty Parker. You like that, Doug? Fuck, 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 fuck. (laughs) Um, (laughs) There you go. Hey, who's this? It's Lefty, man. How's it going? Hey, man. Long, long time. Long time no uh, speak. Yeah, what's happening? What can I do for you today? Dude, I have to tell Lyle this story. I've been meaning to call him and talk to him about it. Is it the story of how you got the O'Doul's hat? Because that's kind of the one I want to hear. Is it a fairly relatively quick story? Uh, Yeah, I, I can. I can. Tighten it up. Yeah. Well, basically, it goes as follows. I used to work as a river guide uh, in Austin. I work for this nonprofit. We take kids out on the river, teach them about nature and whatnot. Anyways, uh, there was this one time my my boss, we were doing a fundraiser, and we're, like, privately funded. And my boss was like, hey, there's this lady. She's a really big donor. And we need you to take her out on the river. She's got a bad back. Mm. And so she's like, she's like kind of like a dinosaur. She's like 70 years old. And I get out on the water and we're like paddling with all these like people who give us money. So I'm just trying to make her happy. Right. And um, so like I'm, I'm on the boat and she's behind me and she's telling me like, like, wow, I love it when the sweat drips down your back. And I love the, your curly hair. It reminds me of a young lover I had. Mm, and um, mm, mm. all this stuff, she said like okay. this really uh, freaky stuff, right? Oh. And uh, yeah. it kind of progresses. Oh. And she's starting to tell me how she has this, this house in Costa Rica and <clears throat> she could take me there and she can make my life real easy oh. and um yeah. sounds and good you, and at that moment were you considering taking this this hand of a new life that was reaching out to you yeah i mean i guess i was but like i don't know i'm like trapped in this boat with this lady right yeah. and she's like 
behind me saying all these really like sticky things. Are you sure yeah. she wasn't on the phone talking to I someone know. else? <laughs> all right. Well, th- so then wait, can I talking to a fish? Can I ask a question? So then what yeah. happened? <laughs> That's a good question. Did you take the offer or not? Are you in Costa Rica? <laughs> so how did this all wrap up? <laughs> she uh, she gave me her phone number and she said to text her and uh, I never did. I feel like one of these days you're going to be on the down. Like you're going to, something bad will happen to you, whether it's a breakup, whether you lose your job and you just know that you have the plan B of the Costa Rica lady in your pocket. So I think this is a good thing that happened to you. I don't good know, backup. man. Right. It's a good backup. backup. It's always yeah. good to have a plan B. Good Why don't you wait B. till she's within an inch of her life? Pull a... Um, Ooh. Get on the wheel. Uh, is that what we're talking about? Who's that? Who's Anna, Anna Nicole, Nicole Smith, Smith kind of deal? Yeah, with... Uh, yeah. Or uh, David Guest. Although, that went the other way, I think. Remember David oh, Guest? Oh, with Eliza Minnelli? Yeah. I think David Guest passed on. I think so. Yeah. So did you text her? No. I Well, actually, I did. I texted her <laughs> and I said, like... Hey, it was really nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can hang out because she asked me to like hang out with her. That's so and, nice that you like uh, respond. You totally could have ghosted her, and I don't I think could've. anyone would have. But you you responded. That was nice of you. I was trying to be respectful, but then it just like kind of progressed. She just kept texting me like, 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 hey. You know, I'm going to this show tonight. You want to come? Mm-hmm. And uh, that's, low, that's lower commitment than going to Costa Rica. What's yeah, what well, show? She Tom was going Jones? to a show? What show. Yeah, Tom Jones. She's going to like uh, a Wayne? sleep at the wheel. She said like she had like these VIP. Wayne tickets. Newton. Sleep Wait, so I, I have another question. After you yeah. reject, after you you gently rejected her, did, did those domes dry up? You know those domes. Well, what? She's a donor. She's a donor. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, she's a donor. Um, honestly, I don't know. I, I didn't hear much. Right, good question, that. good follow up, good answer. Uh, uh what, what sounds kinda... like you got an answer, so please, Vic. Okay. I was wondering what the uh <laughs> I'd like to land what the river tour right is like. What do you talk oh, about? Oh no, no, we don't care about the river <laughs> fucking tour. Wait, what what what, what part of you think? I've never is been curious. on a river tour. Then go on a river All tour. Right. Go to the fucking Am go I, to Miss, uh, well, what do you Mississippi. Think, what do you think's on a river tour? You answer. Yeah, there's a. I mean, it sounds I, like a lot of people are getting a lot out of a lot river of tours. I kind of want to know. Yeah. Jeez. Anyway, I can't th- be that much wildlife in Austin. Water. I'd like to get, get a river, river boat. Get no a river boat and start throwing really some cool. dice. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Can I hit you up if my mm-hmm. life goes south and I want to go to Costa Rica with this woman? Kyle, you can, I, Lyle, I just that's what I'm trying to ask. It's like, would you do it, man? Would I go on the date for you? Would you do it for me? If you lend me the O'Doul's hat, I'll go on the date. Okay. Let's see what happens if we answer a hotline call. Thank you very much, Thank buddy. You. Good luck. Peace to you. That was a good call. Interesting. Yeah, it's a very good Interesting call. Interesting predicament. Yeah. Julie, you are live on the hotline. Aloha. Hello, Julie. Hi. Is this Tim Hodecker? Yes, it is. How you doing? Doing. Oh, I'm doing wonderful. I'm so grateful that you had the time to take my call today. Um, I have been a big fan for several weeks now, and <laughs> I just want to say that your your hot piss song yeah. was the most moving piece of music I had ever experienced. Well, thank you very much. I used to struggle a lot. This is the therapy section. I used to uh, struggle well, We have a lot therapy gecko here. Lyle's here if, okay. you, if you have uh, issues that you want to go over with him. Well, you know how it is when you're in certain things and you just feel like a weirdo. What what certain thing are you in? My interest in urine. But urine. You're into everything, you know? So what? You're into everything. In urine. Her interest oh. is in urine. Yeah. yeah. It's a put Everywhere. On. I like, you know, uh All right, we have we have our litmus test boy. here. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. And uh whether it's piss. What, what would you like poop. me to lick? <laughs> What she said? Like, what? What would you, you like? Say to you say you want lick? me lick this test? What? No, a litmus test. You want test. me lick it to that test? <laughs> no. Thank you oh, very no, much. Oh no, sir! I am not lit. I am completely sober. All right, darling. Oh yeah, have a good time out there. Well, I'm having a wonderful time just listening to you all. All this right. This is now. the highlight of my day, honestly. Where are you coming from? Uh, Lone Oak, Arkansas. Mm-hmm. Are you pissing it's right a now? Little town outside of Little Rock. 
uh, if you'd like me to, if you're into that sort of thing, I didn't think that was the, this type of show. Doug, how do you think they came up with that name, Little That's Rock? That's not the only thing town. you can make me do remotely. <laughs> it's fucking rock hmm? small, man. <laughs> Shit. They're like, we, got any, we need a name right now. Like, there's, there's no Airport. landmarks. Damn. Damn. Look at that fucking rock. The fuck is small. <laughs> right there in the middle. Maybe right there in the middle of this whole town. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys might be smoking crack rocks that are bigger than my town, I'll but say. it's still a good town. What's the name of your town? If you ever... You, Roanoke. L-O-N-O-K-E. Oh, Roanoke. Isn't that Lost Colony? She said Lonoke? No, no, no. That's in Virginia. That's All in right. Virginia. All right. Thank you for calling. I'm going to stop no, talking no, like this. I, you're well expensive. Well, what a vape. <laughs> I do like How it. often, you know, I get I this question like a lot. Yeah. I want to know from you. you How often do you think, when, like, when people are calling into your show, that they're, like, just fucking with you versus being Well, genuine? the show has changed over the years. I think in the beginning there was more of that. Yeah. More trolling. Right. More abuse. We don't get yeah. a lot of that. No, it takes more work to get on Zoom or whatever, figure it out. I thought yeah. she wasn't... I don't think she's. Well, I think she was just having a little fun. Well, my, my favorite it. thing is when somebody starts out as a troll and then you go for long enough that they drop it and you kind of see what's really going on. All right, listen. We thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We're not going to do that here. We'll see tonight. The stress. Uh, I just want to uh, also say we are uh, going to jump to the city of the day. Good idea. The city of the day. Another thing Vic loves about the show. City of the, day. city of the Day is brought to you by Richard Dryfish Seafood Jerky. Make a splash at your next shindig by serving Richard Dryfish, the high protein snack that is sourced from the world's best oceans, rivers, and ponds. Their fish is 100% grass fed, scale free, and high in vitamins. Richard Dryfish comes in a wide variety of flavors. Such as what are, what about bobber? A super dry pond hooked cat crappy with just a pinch of chives. Sink your teeth into their sea salted jerk jerky and you'll be saying, jerk, shark jerky, and you'll be saying, we're gonna need a bigger mouth. Their most popular flavor, Mr. Holland's Porpoise, <laughs> now comes with an extra blowhole in every bag. Order now and receive a complimentary bag of their newest dry flavor fish. Close encounters of the perch kind. Reel in a deep discount by serving over to dryfish.richard and using promo code Amerifin Graffiti that will net you 10% off your first purchase. Very nice. Doug, do you want to talk about this? Very nice. Where is this? Uh, I spent where? three weeks making that jingle. Let me hear it again. I want to thank, wow. this is rare. I will say this is okay, rare. I spent about 45 that minutes awesome. on it. We get submissions all the time from the audience uh, for dr fake products. And as you know, uh, there, there just ain't a lot of funny people in the world. You know, three of them are here. I would say Matt's a funny guy too. Four people. Aloha. I don't know. I mean, hey, you're, you're, not the, you're not known as a funny guy. You're well, just I, a good person. Yeah, sure. I'll, 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 I'll take that. But you might be funny. I don't know you enough. Sometimes. He's a comedian also, isn't he? Uh, I'm, like, I'm like I'm just I'm like a gecko guy. You're a gecko guy. Somebody yeah. from. Uh, but my my point is, we get submissions all the time for fake ads. A lot of them stink, stink. Where is it? Where is it? They stink, uh, stinks. Uh, uh, but this one stink. made us all smile, made us all laugh, and it's from M B Alexander. So don't be. I mean, I say with peace and love. Don't be afraid to send. M B made the artwork too. That's really what sold it. Oh. Of course, I punched up the copy and made yes. made it sore. Emby. What kind of name is Emby? That's interesting. No offense. <laughs> uh, it's short for something. Emberson. I like that. I like them going out on a limb. Emberson, Lake, and It was just a full package. <laughs> it was great. like, here's yeah. the artwork. Here's the See? concept. That's all it takes. We have somebody doing some boxing in the Zoom. <laughs> some, some, uh, some working out. Do we want to see... You have to get our city of the day. First. Oh yeah, who? So maybe that's the city of the day. Do you want to be the city of the day ranch cat? Well, we already. We, oh, you have one. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Do, but uh, then we could talk. Oh, it's all right. Oh, it's gonna... Carson is the city oh. of the day. Okay, oh, that's Carson. Yes. Why? The city Lieutenant of the Carlson. day is 
The city of the day is Tavernier, Florida. All right. Tavernier, Florida. Why, right. why Carson of all people? Because there... he's in a, he's in Tavernier, Florida. He's on a road trip. I'm out of town. I'm on vacation. How far is that from Mar-a-Lago? I don't know. Where is Mar-a-Lago? Palm, is West that Palm South? Beach? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's pretty close. <laughs> Why don't you drop Tavernier in? Tavernier is like can... in the Keys. Why don't you? So like further south of mar lago Oh, you're in the Keys? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Keys, 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 keys on Van Nuys. Keys, 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 <laughs> keys on Van Nuys. Have you hey. been to the Fobs? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Yeah, drop by mar lago Say that you had an appointment I'll... to see the, uh, the former president. See if you can get in. Right. Shouldn't be too I'll hard. I'll get yay in. I'll get Yay and Nick Fuentes to come with me. Oh, they can get me fuck, in. Man. What is this building that you're leaning against? It's a uh, it's in a, a house that's an apartment now. My friend lives here. Does, does he know that you're outside? I think so. I hope We're so. talking about this house where there's a guy on my Zoom lifting punching bags Let's bring like it. crazy. That's way more interesting. Bring and it. I hate to say it, Carson, but you should be an advocate for the quality of the show, not I for am. your own I screen am. Get me time. Get out of here. Get him I don't out! Need to be on here. Ranch Get me cat. out of here. Ranch cat, can you unmute? <laughs> you guys. Ranch cat, put down that heavy sack. You hear me? Yeah, look at you. You're getting strong, <laughs> aren't you? Oh! <laughs> oh! I'm like. <laughs> oh shit! I'm coming. You all right? <laughs> Crap yourself? Are we still in Tabernacle, like Florida? No. Coming. Where are we now? I'm getting the feeling of coming. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Damn, girl! Wow. Mummy, mummy. What is this? Who's your illusion? What do we do here? It's what we do? You want to beat some beat somebody up for me? I got a list. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's get this guy out there cracking Who's your skulls. List? Who's on your list? Today? Nick Fuentes. Yeah. <laughs> Milo. I got that bitch. Do you do kickboxing too, or is it just punching? Do you kick that thing? Kick. Yeah, I kick it. I got. I got my. Oh shit. Shin guards on. Okay. The homework out. You're, my, you're going to be my soldier of fortune. All right, I'm. Great. I'm putting together uh, an army of men and women, strong men. Strong. And you're just going <laughs> to clobber up. people. You're going to go around and do. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> It'll be a menace. It'll be a fucking menace with you out there. Terrifying. People will be closing, people will be hiding, they'll be going back in their basements. Enough! Boom, boom, boom! Oh, we need yeah. it. We need to restore order, Matt. Do, do most the, people, yeah, let's start do, the army. Do most people let's in Fort Wayne, Indiana army. look that jacked? Uh, I guess. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't leave my house. <laughs> you live in a fort. Uh, yeah. I live in a fort. Got guns everywhere. Don't come here. I guess. Whatever. No, I'm all right with that, baby. Who's Wayne? Just be safe with it. Why does he have a fort? <laughs> <laughs> He's actually some guy that killed a lot of natives. Oh boy. Pretty cool oh, name yeah. of town. I thought it was right? named after Wayne Brady. <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> Wayne Newton, but Fort Wayne Brady. <laughs> Fort Wayne Brady. So, so are you doing this kickboxing shit for uh, recreation, for fun, for just working out, or are you a professional uh, yeah, fighter? Yeah, yeah, No, no, I do it for fun. I do well, enjoy you won't the be, MMA, you'll but... be You'll be doing it for money because I'm putting you on the payroll. You're my soldier of fortune, my warrior. Uh, okay. Let's would you, would you be down, willing to kill someone there. for Tim if no, he no, asked No, 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 we don't want any death. You can't say that. You can't say that, but yes. going to get banned. <laughs> Tim, you can't. You shouldn't really call for any violence at all. I am not. Is that a joke? Tim's very own it's all proud satirical. Boys. It's satirical. Good. Okay. <laughs> I'm not very proud, so. I'm a pacifist, baby. I'm a beautiful, peaceful man. Right? Oh yeah. No, oh, everything's good, good, baby. But beautiful. Per beautiful. Perfect transition to the. I did watch a little bit of this Tim Pool. Ooh. You know, I get sucked into that show, Vic. I think it's your fault. Oh, I know. Well, I wasn't watching it. You told me about it, so you guys watch so much trash. You watch uh, the Bill <laughs> Maher show, and you watch <laughs> Tim Pool. You're like, you see the new Maher? It just dropped. I'm like, no, Maher had on uh, Maher had on uh, Gene Simmons. Holy shit! Two scumbags in a basement talking to each other. Uh, I don't know if you're a kiss head. 
Uh, I don't, is, is Gene, did he do something bad, Gene Simmons? I don't really know anything about He's been about doing it. something bad for 50 years. <laughs> band called never Kiss. Did something bad. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I can't think of a worse group. I if like the pinball to... machine that they made. Oh, yeah, sure. They got a good pinball machine. That's my kind of If you put a gun thing. to my head and somebody's yes. going to eventually, mm -hmm. they will say, who is your, who's the worst band in American history, in world history? Wouldn't be some marching band, you know? Yeah. Wouldn't be so some so local good. group who's not uh, not equipped to do stuff. It would be Kiss. What about them is, is egregious to you? Their music's terrible. <laughs> the costumes are ridiculous, stupid. It's entertainment for stupid people, and stupid people should have entertainment. No question about that. I feel I feel like I'm in somewhat of a solidarity with any kind of a costume. Sure. Thing. No, I, I mean. I should retract that. I, I, it's fun what they do. He's also a sex pest, but... Yeah. Oh, okay, well, you didn't mention that part. You yeah. should have a long tongue. You're the gecko here. Yeah, check out his no. tongue. But uh, maybe we can get... Maybe this is a fine transition to uh, Mr. Hoffman. <laughs> for, for whatever... <laughs> Wait, don't look. I don't he's, know. There's, there's Gene right there. Mr. Moneybags. I like his look. I was doing I a pretty good like Gene uh, Simmons impression earlier before the show started. I can't... I don't know if I'll be able to lock it in again, but... Jordan, um, is your mic on? Is it working? Yeah, I, 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 am I working? Am I here? Hey, Jordan. I... Hey, how's everybody doing? Oh, we're great. How are you? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. Have Big you secured fan. your Have you secured your fish tickets for the year? Are you? Uh, I'm going. I'm. Well, you know, fish plays every uh, run up to New Year's. I do four shows at Madison Square Garden. Yeah, I'll be going to at least one. I'll. Probably go to all four, but for now I'm I'm good with one. They should play at the aquarium. Well, did you see that footage of them playing <laughs> with with the whales from last year? Oh yeah, it's incredible. Were you at one of those really. shows where they had the floating I did whales? I see that. Yeah, I was at the whale show. Was it cool I, in person, I, or does it work better as a video experience? It was fantastic in person, and I, I gotta be. I'm. This is my hand to God. This is true. The man next to me said, "Is that a hologram?" <laughs> so I said. No, no, that's like, that's, yeah. that's real, meaning it was a blimp, you know, like a drone. And he went, that's a real fucking whale? <laughs> and I'm like, how high are you? I mean, he was clearly, I mean, listen, you yeah, know, a yeah. fish concert, but of course. he was, for a second, he just did not know where he was, you know. I'm like, no, this is planet Earth, and that's just We're a drone, and it's cool. Now, you love the fish. We've talked I about do. this before, and you love them, yeah. and and I love I love uh, I love your love for them. I should say that I think <laughs> it's genuine, and I love seeing people love what they love. That's what my wife says too when she makes me turn it off. But it's uh, you know, yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, but here's my question for you, because yeah. and and you're and you're a deadhead too. I like everything. Yeah, I yeah. Like, you know, so I mean, so uh, there's like a whole ecosystem of music and bands that kind of start getting. I don't want to say trapped, but kind of get absorbed by when you're like the fish adjacent group. So yes, I mean the if, jam band scene. The jam, the jam band, band scene. scene. So suddenly you get Goose coming yeah. up, and Goose yeah. is you know about Goose? I don't know Goose. Matt oh, yeah, knows yeah, about yeah. Goose. You know about Goose Gecko? I don't know anything about Goose. <laughs> you see this, uh, and and suddenly now you gotta love Goose, right? Uh, listen, when, <laughs> what's Goose? When Goose when Go Goose is a relatively young band. They're like in their late twenties, early thirties. And they have a lot of shared similarities with Fish and some of the other groups in that in that strain. And I'll be honest, when I first heard about them, I'm like, oh, Christ, I got to listen to Goose now. Give me a yeah. goddamn break. <laughs> right. Because the names are so stupid. Yeah. Fish, Goose, the string <laughs> cheese incident. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, pigeons playing ping pong. These names are just awful. Yeah. Dave and I resisted. <laughs> I resisted to listening to Goose, but the truth of the matter is that they're really, really good. And I've seen them a bunch of times. And Trey Anastasio, who's like the main dude from Fish, yeah. he and the main dude from Goose, they've done some collaborations. They did a mini tour together. There's they're all a, work. There's, that's what I mean by this ecosystem, because yeah. they're very strategic. And I don't know, <laughs> I'm not saying it's it's like cynical, well, like the way Kiss well, would look at it, but you know, there is, there is uh, cross pollination. Yes, I mean they all do have the same managers, and there's ah, a lot of right. there's a lot of backstage um, machinations there. There's a lot of uh, you know the ones that that seem to be always playing together 
oftentimes have shared, uh, you know, shared deals and whatnot. I feel like uh, I got trapped in an algorithm online, at least, where now, I, like, even though I don't really like it, it's just getting presented to me. Like, like I, yeah. I, I, I'm being told what, what fucking uh, Billy Strings had for breakfast yeah. every day. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, he's part of the ecosystem, too. I mean, there's, like you say, there's a, there's a strong niche, and it comes from... If you remember Relics Magazine, yes. you ever read Relics Magazine? Yes. The owner of Relics Magazine's got a deal with a streaming service called Nugs.net. Yeah, yeah. Right. And Nugs.net is like for all the freshest nugs of these concerts yeah. from around. And it's humiliating and embarrassing, but it's also, it's, it's, it is something that I enjoy. And yeah, that's yeah. part of life is being, you know, having a little bit of shame about the things that you love, whether it's, uh, and you're also, you know. I mean, I please chime in as much as you want. You're here. You're my guest. I don't want to ignore you. Oh, sure. no, I, so, I, I saw Billy. Strings. And I'm not saying you have to. I'm just I just don't want to be like, oh, we're, oh what no, am I doing? Here? No, I appreciate it. No, I, I, I saw I saw Billy Strings. Oh, but he's great. great. Yeah, he's great. Um, yeah, I hear you, man. You should be proud of what you're into and have no shame. Um, I was watching the first Star Trek movie the other night, Star Trek, the motion picture. And I, yeah. I'm like, this movie's fucking great. It is a maligned film because people were expecting action and adventure. It was it was greenlit because of Star Wars. Yeah. And Star Trek, the motion picture, wanted to be 2001 A Space Odyssey. Right. And it's, it's somewhere in between. It's glacial. It is it's good, so it's slow. A, it's slow, but, yeah. But then there's beautiful moments in it. It's truly, yeah. I think it's a be beautiful movie. Um, is anyone I'm, the one with Superman in it? There's no Superman in Star Trek. Oh. <laughs> Um, but but Ab Abraham Lincoln is in an episode of Star Trek, the original series. Oh, there you go, Doug. Um, Who's he? <laughs> no, but we had you on because we have you on because we wanted to talk about your <laughs> your ELP experience. Emerson, yeah. Lake and Palmer uh, did yeah. this holographic. Okay, there it is. Welcome back, my friends. The return of Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Welcome back, my friends. Uh, blah, blah, blah. This was ELP. a holographic uh. experience featuring only the drummer. Well, okay, so it began with with an email, and see, I thought it was going to be holograms too, and you thought it was going to be holograms, and so did everybody. Right, that's the way it and was pitched. It was maybe. pitched, I got an email on September 7th from uh, the producers of the show, The Club. Uh, just to back it up, the, the, the show was at a place in, in New York City called Town Hall. Yeah, and Town beautiful, Hall I've is, played there several times, it's a beautiful venue. Beautiful. It's, it's not. It's not a place thing. usually known for like, you know, bombastic progressive rock with a lot of lasers and whistles and bells. Right. Uh, historically, uh, this is like where Eleanor Roosevelt would give a talk in yeah, 1950. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's it's um, the folk revival is a movie. Bob Dylan. I mean, we did a song called Mary. Diarrhea there, but that's maybe yes. an outlier. Well, I mean. <laughs> You want to class up the joint, uh, you know, the jazz world and a lot of jazz albums recorded there. Um, but an ELP in the day, they would sell out football arenas and they would have full orchestras and lasers and video projection. But I got an email and it said, I'll, I'll read it. Uh, the, the blurb, uh, Bowery presents. Welcome back. My friends, the return of Emerson Lake and Palmer on Friday, November 25th, sole surviving member, Carl Palmer. <laughs> In association with the estates of his bandmates, Keith Emerson and Greg Lake, the the implication being there that both Keith Emerson and Greg Lake, the two stars of the show, are dead, <laughs> yeah. have announced the much-anticipated Welcome Back, My Friends, the return of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer tour. The tour will actually reunite ELP live on stage <laughs> through... Modern technology. That right. is the okay. that is the kicker. Through modern technology, could be just uh, old tape recordings yeah, of them. Tracks, I mean, modern <laughs> technology. What are we talking about? Sorry, are they well, are they not dead? The, well, <laughs> they Tim, are. You're you're not that wrong with what you just said. So here's the deal. There have been hologram shows before. Yeah, Roy, Roy Orbison, Orbison. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Zappa. You know, Zappa has. A bunch of kids and one of his kids plays guitar really really well that's dweezil mm -hmm. and there's another zappa kid who doesn't play as well so he got a hologram of his dad uh, i think that stopped pretty quickly so i assume this was going to be holograms you assume yeah everybody assumed i get there and i look at the stage i just see a, a huge drum kit front and center and a bunch of video screens oh uh. And I'm sitting uh. in the front of the mezzanine mm -hmm. and the couple next to me they're wonderful 
older couple, you know, from Long Island or, or New Jersey, or whatever. Guys wearing an ELP shirt. Yeah. And he's like, you see, you seen these guys before? And I'm like, you know, the honest truth is, um, I do like prog rock. You know, I like yeah. yes, I like Genesis, King Crimson, all that stuff. But ELP was always like a, a little bit lower down for me on the totem pole. Yeah. But like, no, I've never seen him. But this is going to be fun. Are there going to be holograms here? And the guy turned out to be someone in the know. He's really into ELP. Like he knows the road manager. <laughs> yeah. And he even said at one point, he's like, that's Bobby, the road manager over there. Hey, Bobby. And Bobby's oh like, God. how are you doing, buddy? He's like, Carl looked at the holograms. He didn't like them. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? What? Carl looked at, he's like, he, he didn't like the way it worked out. You'll see what he's going to do. So here's what happened for Emerson, Lake, and Palmer live. The return, the Welcome Back My Friends tour. It was Carl Palmer on drums. And he's 70-something, and he is, no joke, fantastic. He's a yeah. fit. If you're really going to be in a be, prog group, you got to be a good drummer. Yeah. You're not he could beat the shit out of any of us. He is so strong. To, like, some of the best rock drumming I've seen was this guy last week. Um, and then he had two young squirts with him. One guy... <laughs> on bass and one guy on a guitar that was put through so much distortion it sounded like keyboards okay because the shtick is elp didn't have a guitar they had right. Carl palmer on drums greg like benfold five <laughs> yes <laughs> they had greg lake would play bass and play it well and occasionally acoustic guitar for the mellow tunes like "Ooh, what yeah. a lucky man, man and the, he yeah. was and Greg Lake would sing, and he wrote the lyrics, and he was the dreamy guy. But the real star was Keith Emerson, who played, you know, just a wall of synthesizers. Yeah. He it was like Rick. Wa it was like Rick Wakeman. Hundred percent. Rick but. Wakeman is Pepsi, and Keith Emerson's Coke. Right. They're, they're right at one another. And uh, he would, of course, Keith Emerson would throw knives at his keyboard. Yes. Have you seen those videos? No. Oh, they're crazy. He would yeah. like. He treated it like he was like, Slam it. you know, Pete Townsend with his keyboard. It's a very silly 100%. thing to do. But. He, well, so his original roadie was Lemmy, who later founded um, Motorhead. Right. And oh, Lemmy okay. was like, "Oi, Keith!" Now Keith Emerson could play like Franz Liszt and Chopin. He could play all that, but he was like, his roadie's like, "Oi, you gotta throw." knives at your keyboard and they got to be real German knives. And he like found these Nazi <laughs> knives that Keith Emerson would throw at the, at the thing. And he would actually spin. He had a grand piano spin around like this. He would lean back. Like he was humping his keyboard, a real lunatic. My point is this Emerson Lake and Palmer was a keyboard band. They were a synthesizer band. That's the point of this band. Yeah. I get there for the return of ELP. No keyboard, no <laughs> piano. <laughs> What they hadn't said were video screens. And Carl Palmer was said, all right, who wants to hear Keith? And then he'd go like this, and they'd play video from a concert they recorded that's out on DVD <laughs> oh. from the 1990s. Oh. Oh. They played DVD clips, and so it would be Keith, it would be Emerson on one screen, yeah. Lake on the other screen, and this is town hall. This is not, <laughs> this is not like you know, um, these new Vegas, the Madison Q yeah, garden yeah. or whatever. It's just not two like screens. That. Yeah. It's just two movie screens, Emerson Lake. And in the middle Palmer. So was it all synced up at least? Like would he, what he did when he talked, cause he then said a little bit into it was look, we, we looked at the holograms cause clearly everybody's like, where the fuck's my Keith Emerson hologram? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, we looked at the holograms and it didn't, didn't seem right. So we took Fair the video <laughs> from the nineties and we we took out the tracks and we took out my tracks. So I'm playing live with Keith back in the 90s and Lake back in the 90s. And it's beautiful. Oh. And I'm like, like, yeah, I guess it's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, but the thing is this. I would just say, like, I went to see Elton John uh, the other night. Uh, yeah. And at Dodger Stadium. And it was fantastic. And I was, I cried. I got emotional about the whole thing. I just love it. I love him. And. It was a great show, but <laughs> but honestly, what you're doing when you're at like a big stadium show is you're watching a giant screen. Like you try mm. to look at the person yeah. on stage, but they're so far away. I mean, we had good seats, but even then, of course I had good seats. What do you think? I'm sitting up in the nosebleeds? <laughs> you ever there? go to like an arena or like a stadium thing and people are eating in a restaurant? Like just uh -huh. watching it on the TV? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Why would you, why would so you it's that? not that big of a jump to go for what you're saying, but the, talk to me about... Yeah. Attendance, because that's my well, curious part of well, me. Well, yeah, who's going was, to this show? I I will say that um, 
It was not a full house. Mm -hmm. uh, it, there were a lot of uh, empty seats. And there were a lot of dudes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> there was a lot of dudes. And there was the the woman, the couple that was next to me. She, you know, they started chatting with the couple behind them. And one wife said to the other, "I swear to you," she's like, "Did he drag you too?" And he's like, "Yeah, this yeah. one's for him." So yeah, all the exactly. women were dragged <laughs> well, there by their husbands. Even though it was disappointing that there was no holograms, was there? I feel like like a reunion. Show was there like camaraderie between the people that were there? Was everyone like, oh man, it's good to be back? Like, yeah, what was the vibe? The leaving, communal aspect. Like, what was, was the vibe there? leaving the the theater? <laughs> oh, like, or were they right, pissed the, off? Uh, the vibe leaving was Carl Emerson, even at age seventy something, is is a like he did a drum solo that lasted an hour, you oh, know, and it was fun. amazing. <laughs> and um, the an but hour. the thing is because they had to do the the, the video sync. When he would play with the other guys, it didn't sound so great. It sounded compressed. It right. sounded like somebody was pressing play. Now I should point out some of the show. Some of the show he had these these two young guys instead of Emerson and Lake. Like when they sang the mellow stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, from because the they don't. They're not. It's not going to be the whole show is them synced yeah. up with the old footage. No. Right? So let's say it's I don't know sixty forty with the synced up stuff. So. The the forty percent was just like Lake and two new dudes, one of them playing keyboards on his guitar through all this distortion, and then uh, when they had the sync up, he would say, "All right, let's go back and play Carnival Nine, the big hit. Welcome back, my friends, yeah, to, to the, the show." show that never right. And when as soon as they hit go, you heard like a hiss. <laughs> it was like tape. It was and it was like it sounded compressed, and yeah. like the high end was hurting my ears. I wonder so, how many people were just like, uh, this is an unknowable thing, but like the conversation about trying to get a refund. Like, was there, <laughs> was there at least the thought, well, the consideration, so, like, so I don't you, know, you, should we let well, it you go? You see asked, one of the guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You asked about the vibe coming out. Um, two things happened. There was no encore because it was a highly choreographed right. thing because it was all sunk up and like, it was not a lengthy show. It was like, it, started at 8.05 and we were out of there at like 9.50, you know? Yeah. Um, 9.15? No, 9.50. Okay, 9 okay. A little so bit almost 10, a two-hour show. No, op no opener. Almost. No, almost. Yeah. no opener, no. Um, well, there was an opener in that they showed clips of sketch co of uh, of sitcoms that mentioned Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Oh. <laughs> they showed a bit from Cheers. Do you remember when uh, when Diane finally met um, uh, what's Kirsty Alley's character's name? Re oh. Re Rebecca. Rebecca. You, when Diane finally met Rebecca, and Rebecca lied and said that she, she didn't want to lie and say she owned Cheers, so she's like. Oh, and they're like, oh, what do you do, Rebecca? She's like, oh, I, I work for a law firm. And they go, oh, which firm? And she goes, oh, it's the firm of um, Emerson. Uh, oh, Lager, yeah, 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 right, yeah, right, right. That's funny. Yeah, it gets a big sitcom laugh. So that right. killed at the town hall. That yeah, killed, sure. Tell you. So, and there's a Simpsons bit and whatnot. Right. Um, so, so the vibe going out. So people were annoyed that there was no um, hologram encore. Oh, and, encore. And, uh, holograms. And people were really pissed off about the sound. It was so goddamn loud. <laughs> like it really like even I like I'm not what you mean it's too loud. Yeah, yeah. Like because of this the synchronization and whatever, they just cranked it and it was the high-end compression hiss. And it was like my ears were like bleeding afterwards, and everybody was like, <laughs> oh, I was so loud. And it's like we were we had to move to the back. Oh. We moved upstairs. It was so loud. Miserable. And I I was like, yeah, but but the truth of the matter is. I did have a good time and I went by myself. Right. You know, it's like, I, I kind of, I mean, I like shit shows, you know, like it sounds a little yeah. bit like a shit show and there's something fascinating about that and watching something yeah. kind of implode in front of your eyes. And he played, you know, they played the hits. They played Tarkus in full. If you were familiar with the <laughs> album Tarkus. Yeah. That's the one where. Tarkus, Tarkus. The, the image <laughs> is of, of, of a armadillo yeah. on a tank. Yeah. And the armadillo on a tank fights a manticore, and it takes about thirty minutes for the whole suite to complete. They're so funny because, like, their 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 best song or their most famous song is "Lucky Man" or no, uh, "Welcome to the Welcome, no, My Friends." Well, and the wait, and the and the, that's not the name of the song. So, like, good luck finding it. What is the name of the song again? Uh, well, the song that everybody knows is "Welcome Back, My Friends" to the show that never ends. Yeah, and then it goes, "Come and see the show. Come and see the show." The name of the song is "Carn." Evil nine first impression, second movement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It gets <laughs> lost in the algorithm, I think, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Carn Evil, like Carnival. Carn Evil 9 first impression. Because the, the whole Carn Evil 9 suite yeah. lasts an album side. It's right. 25 minutes. So they so just plucked, little... like some FM DJ in the 70s yeah. was like, this is a fucking catchy song. Can I play this for four minutes? <laughs> yeah. And that's how I knew it, just from WZZO. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, that's what they open with. And they have a few other hits that people know from the beginning is a mellow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, from the beginning. Bup, bup, and... I don't know if they have any other. Well, they then they do covers. They do the Peter Gunn theme. Right. They do Hoedown, you know, Aaron <gasps> Copeland. And they do um, Fanfare for the Common Man. Right. Bum, 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 yeah, bum, yeah. Bum, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> yeah. And they blast that out for like 14 minutes. Right. With, you know, and they incorporate other, you know, classical hits and jazz <laughs> hits. <laughs> Just um, all right. Listen, funny. they are prog rock to the nth degree. They're, they're the most prog prog rock. I saw one third of the band before they were all gone. Yeah, I have no regrets. I'm a little deaf as a result, but I thought I was getting a hologram and I got a video screen. Well, I'm once he dies, the drummer dies. I'm gonna do a, a re, I'm gonna relaunch the tour again with zero <laughs> members of the band. See how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, I love talking to you, and I, I, could, I want to talk to you about so many other things, so maybe we'll have you on the show again soon, if that you don't mind. Good. I'm always around. Follow Jordan, uh, where? Jay Hoffman at Twitter? In the street. Oh, uh, yeah, if you want to tweet, J-H-O-F-F-M-A-N is me. And, uh, yeah. Talk always about good, movies, always good. Should, wait, I, and should I not? Sh I got to see the Fablemans, right? Yeah, Fablemans looks like, like the trailer and the... Poster look like crap. It's a really the good movie. Poster's really bad. I have yeah, to say, it's terrible. But I, I love Steven Spielberg. You're gonna love this movie. Uh, and I really do. I, I think, I watched rewatched Lincoln the other day. That's a fucking great movie. It really is. I love West Side Story. I love Batman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, um, this is now the two movies you just mentioned were co-written by Tony, Tony Kushner, Kushner, who yeah. wrote Angels in America, and he co-wrote this. Yeah. So, and we found is this is a nice thing. pairing, these two guys. Yeah. Oh, they're great. They're terrific. They're both top of their games. He's yeah. like the most famous living playwright, and he's the most famous living filmmaker. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to go see it. I, I do love his movies. I mean, not all of them. I'm not fucking watching Hook. Yeah. Hook you is know. bad. The Terminal. The Terminal's, the terminal's pretty unwatchable. Great. Yeah. But um, I'll tell you, the the, the uh, Fablemans is, um, it just looks like who gives a shit about Steven Spielberg's childhood, but it's really not, like, it's about how he became Steven Spielberg, right? Yeah. But so, like, you might think, like, is there a scene where he, like, goes to the beach and thinks he sees a shark? <laughs> Ooh. No, right. no, none no. of that. None of no. that. Uh, you know, there's none of him, like, looking up at the stars and thinking he sees a UFO. Right. It's really about a kid who's really smart and he figures out that his parents are that their, their marriage is falling apart before they do we have somebody smart coming movie. in and wasn't his big thing he used to uh, have a just, hand puppet all the set. time wasn't that is that in the movie for this uh, is not, yeah for real that's not in the movie uh, i think i did read that he had a um like an imaginary friend but uh, okay. that is not in the film either his I love a, I, of the cinema i have a question um i was talking about this with tim earlier you got star wars and you got star trek is there a Room for another star uh, <laughs> franchise. And Tim had a good um, name for it. Star Adventure? Star Adventure or Star Search, perhaps? Adventure is star pretty similar to a track, I would <laughs> yeah, say. Yeah, I think that's yeah. right. Star Adventure. Star Journey. <laughs> star Crash. You're star a, star, crash you're a Trekkie. If you, you would, you would, if you, you, yeah. if you would say uh, Star Wars, Star Trek, you'd right away say Star Trek? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I love Star Wars. Wrong, but Star Trek is, is very key to my development as a young man. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, oh, I just really man. liked uh, that vibe. I yeah. like uh, hanging it's out. more cerebral. It's for smarter people like you and I. Um, <laughs> oh. All right, Jordan, we got to keep house. the show going because we've got uh, a band here oh, that's going to play. you got so much to do. What a great uh, no time holograms. talking to you. This is the, really the only show you're going to get this kind of expertise on uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's, there's, no, there's not no a lot of other podcasts going this deep. Um, uh, yeah, I, I would just say to the listeners out there, throw on the Tarkus suite. Listen to ELP's version of Modest Mazursky's Pictures at an Exhibition. It lasts about 37 minutes. Welcome back, my friends. Awesome. It's marvelous. Thank you, Jordan. Have a great... Au revoir. Great so holiday long. season. Happy holidays. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> All right, Matt, any other business to get to before we go to the uh, the musical act? 
No, no, they were just getting set up. Okay. We're, we're not trying well, to since the free half again. of the show will be ending right after the band, we're going to have Dear Nora play a song, then we'll take a little break. We'll come back for the patrons only broadcast. Unless you're watching live, just keep watching. Uh, a couple plugs here. Uh, no more bullshit. Very good band. UK Europe tour uh, is happening in March of next year. Those tickets are on sale right now at timheidecker.com slash live. I could name the cities for you, but I don't know them all. Leeds, Sheffield, Bristol, London, Gal uh, Galway, Galway, Galway. Do I need a passport? Uh, Dublin, you need a passport. Okay. Vic is coming, the very good band, my unique brand of anti-comedy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come see me and the band you know all about the world tour we, the, uh, the national tour we did last year oh, what a great smashing wonderful show it was now you get to see it overseas uh, and that's it for now but we'll be back we have so much to get to we haven't gotten we ba basically only scratched the surface of our wonderful show today but now I'd like to welcome into the studio the wonderful talented duo here. Wow. Dear Nora. Hi. <laughs> Shadows moving up the valley, they're all in my face. Packed up my car the next day and I drove out in the rain. Into fields of fields of yellow, fields of fields of purple. Shadows are in my review, but what can I do? Up around the corner is spring break in Lake Havasu, and the DJ said, "The pound in the house." Snow is coming down sideways as far as I can tell And I'm up with the radiator clanking at the Weather Ford Hotel And I heard my song on TV, didn't notice immediately Shadows from the clouds are forming over the peaks as Red is the color of the dust and the color in cheeks as I'm crying tears into my huevos rancheros took a look at the mountain and drove out of the snow water flooded down streams where I went many years ago and the shadows in the Shadows, did I mention? Vines on the wall in Tucson and drawings on the floor. I woke up, checked the listings, and I walked out the door. The realtor asked if I listened to my intuition. Died, fell off the cross and one crow is alive What used to be America is just a place to drive And the shadow forces operating Avatars are levitating Volcano dust and juniper My ancient spirit child The skulls are dancing Night is young The party has gone we are grown, then we're gone, and our fossils are tossed along. Mm
Thank you guys so much. That was beautiful. I got lost in the zone of the beautiful music. It was a awesome. heavenly performance. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we'll be right back after these no messages. <laughs> Thank you. 